today we're going to talk a little bit about how sex and sex with people affects your energy in just a minute. Hey guys, I'm Mel from Mel's Divination. I'm the owner, the operator, and the creator here. And today is Witchy Wednesday. And on Witchy Wednesdays, we talk about all kinds of things, energetic, spiritual, witchcraft, any of it, all under that umbrella. Today is going to be an 18 plus video. So just keep that in mind about what you're going to be watching or who you're going to be watching it around. And I did just want to let you all know I do have a website. It's www.melsdivination.com. I've also made an adjustment in my profile um, on YouTube, but also in my description box below. I have a link at the very top now that shows all of my socials, my, um, pay paying uh, attempts like PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all that, and a few other things. So uh, all of my links are in that one link now so that it's all in one spot and it's nice and neat for all of you. I'm also using TikTok a lot more, so check that link out as well. It's in that link. And I think that's pretty much it. So we're going to get right into this. I do have a new microphone. I'm pretty excited about it. I will share with you guys where I got it from in a different video. So I'm just testing it out today. I think it's working pretty good. I did a test video before and it seems okay. I did want to film outside, but as soon as I got outside, people started making noise next door. So unfortunately, you guys have to face the same scenery as usual. Now, we're going to be talking about sex, but we're not going to be talking about sex as much as like in a magical sense. Not right now. We might do a sex magic video at some point, but right now we're just going to be talking about sex in general and how it affects our energy specifically. Okay. Um, I've been wanting to talk about this for a little while now, but don't be sending me emails asking about sex magic. No, mm -mm. hands down. Anybody that does that, you're going to get blocked. Like, it's just not, it's not happening. Get yourself a book. We're not going to be having inappropriate, unnecessary conversations back and forth about sex. No, <laughs> no. So what I'm talking about today about sex is more in the way that the energy exchange affects us as a person. So what I mean by that is we are, we, me, you, each individual, we have our own individual energy fields that we absorb things, that we put out there, experiences, traumas, good things, bad things, thought processes, all of that is in our personal energy field. The more people we come in contact, and I'm not talking about sexual contact, I'm talking about regular contact. We pick up their energy as well. And if we don't cleanse ourselves, then that energy gets attached to us. The more experiences we have, the more things we do, it all becomes a part of us and our energy. And yes, we can clean, cleanse it, but it doesn't mean it's all going to be completely wiped away clean slate. Now, extend that to the concept of sex. Sex in general is two people consenting to be very physically close to one another in one way or another. So I'm talking about the broad term of sex. So we're talking about any kind of thing that has to do with that falls under the sexual umbrella. Okay. It does not matter gender, orientation, approach, or what you're actually doing. What I'm talking about is the actual connection, the physical connection of you with another however that may look. Now, when it comes to actually inserting something in one way or another, that is an extension, an amplified extension, if you will, of your energy field or of somebody else's energy field if you're accepting something being inserted. Now, what I'm talking about specifically, and I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying, because I have to be careful about exactly how I say this. For instance, 
let's start with the base, very, very basic thing that happens a lot of times at the beginning when you're starting to get close with somebody. Literally just holding hands. You have an energy field, they have an energy field, and by touching one another, you're combining those energy fields together. If you bring it up a higher octave, kissing or anything with the organs, the genitalia, that is a higher level, especially like when I said insertion of any in any area of any kind. The reason why that is, is you're literally either accepting something of a person into you or putting something of you into another person. OK, this is talking about exchanges with another could be multiple others, but we're just talking about the main concept here. So that is the the highest extreme of exchange of energy, the strongest exchange of energy, because literally there is an entrance into another individual and that individual is absorbing the thing and you're feeling whatever is surrounded by the thing. OK, so. It's a major, major, and especially if we're talking about with no protection. So be smart, be safe, all that. Like that should, we're all adults here, so I shouldn't even have to get into that. But even, it's even a higher octave without protection. Okay. So you're exchanging energy. And I'm not using energy as a euphemism or a metaphor. I'm literally talking about energy, your energetic field, another person's energetic field. That's an exchange of energy. And there are theories out there, and it makes so much sense that a woman can tell when a man has cheated on them, they feel it intuitively. How? And I'm just using women and men as an example. It does also apply to other genders and orientations, okay? Now, so, they feel I'm using it as an example because I'm I'm a female and that's what I know. OK, we feel if somebody's cheating on us often well before there's any actual logical real world signs that somebody is cheating on us. I had to relocate, guys. Sorry, the sun was just way too in my eyes and I I couldn't I couldn't <laughs> not with my migraines. I just absolutely couldn't. So. My point is we as females, because we're intuitive, but I'm using females as an example because I am a female. It could be we, uh, I, I am a female who interacts with male, with, with, with men. So very gender normatives over here with me. But this could also be applied to a female interacting with a female, a female interacting with a trans female, a female interacting with a trans man, a female interacting with a non-binary. It doesn't matter, okay? I, do, I don't want anybody to think I'm excluding them or it's only this situation, so it literally doesn't matter. But the reason why I'm using it is an example of female male is because that's my that's my personal experience, okay? And so, there's been a lot of times in my life that I have personally felt somebody was cheating on me way before there was any real world evidence of it, way before they were acting weird, way before there was any real reason to suspect anything. I just felt it. And I thought that some of that was just part of my strong intuition. And yes, it is. But also Part of it is, by extension, that energy exchange. So let's say, and I'm going to just use this as an example, it's not real world. Let's say I had a boyfriend who was sleeping with several other people and lying about it. And then he comes home, we sleep together, and something feels weird with that exchange. Something just feels weird. No real reason why. It was a very normal exchange, but something feels weird. The thing that feels weird is he has picked up the energy of these other people, whether it's a trans woman, cis woman, trans man, um, uh, gay man, <laughs> like I'm trying to list everybody, but you see what I'm saying with this, right? So it doesn't matter who this, my boyfriend has had sexual relations with, 
he's absorbed their energy in one way or another and he's carrying that inside of his body and then he brings it home and shares that with me now that intuitive hit of like something's off is usually my body communicating to me hey he's his energy is not right something's wrong there and so the reason why and i'm not saying this has ever happened in that way because it it really not to that extent it really hasn't but just as an example for you guys to understand what i'm talking about so it's not super vague and abstract the point is and it could be the other way, other way around i could be sleeping with multiple people and then bring it to my boyfriend and my boyfriend feels it the point is the energy exchange is so extreme in physical interaction like that. You are sharing all of your experience, very re especially very recent experiences with this other person. You're also sharing your traumas, your pain, the things that you've shared, that you've held within, that you haven't healed, stuff that's still in you. You share that as well. And so the reason why I wanted to mention this today, because this needed to be talked about way before we even talk about sex magic, is not even just on the emotional plane. We're not even talking about the whole sex brings complications and it's emotional. And I'm not even addressing that. That, that is already a given again because you guys are in, are adults and you should know but when it comes to energetic exchange it's a major thing <laughs> it's not just a simple thing and now that energy you picked it up and it's in you now as i've become more sensitive over the years as i've gotten older as i've developed my gifts more it's really extreme in me at this point that I personally have to be extremely mindful about who I allow into my space like that because I don't want to feel whatever it is that they're carrying. And I don't mean STDs. <laughs> That's a whole other layer. But I'm talking about energy, whether they've hurt another, whether they have their own trauma, whether they're with multiple people. I don't want to feel that. And I will feel that. So I have to be very, very selective about who I allow in my space like that. It's not just something that I take very lightly. And I know in this day and age, that's like old fashioned, but it has nothing to do with commitment it has nothing to do with um gender roles or having a very serious relationship or even stds although stds kind of connects to this in a way um it's more about being mindful about what i allow into my world and how it affects me on a regular basis so I just wanted to share that with you guys because it is a thing. If you have felt it and you thought you were crazy, you weren't crazy. It is a thing. It is a thing that isn't super talked about in the spiritual world because, oh my God, it's sex and let's be careful. But if you're an adult, you're probably having sex. Let's be serious. So being mindful and listening to your body and being intuitive and trusting that intuition is a really good way to honor your own energy. There is one example I will personally share with you guys that I have noticed in my life in the past. It's not a, it's not a current situation. Um, I had a boyfriend that I had been with for many, many years who changed jobs at one point. And the job that he went from and versus into the new job he went into was very energetically heavy. It was very dark. He started working with criminals and that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say where, how, why, what, like I may have mentioned it in another video in the past, but I'm not gonna get into detail here because I do wanna respect both of our privacies. But he started working with criminals and his energy started to change over time because he was dealing with some of this really heavy stuff. And because of that, he would bring it home to me. And I can say, after we would be together, I would be exhausted and he would be totally fine. 
And I realized, I start, this is when I really started to make the connection that when we would come together, it was healing for him. And I was taking away the negative crap that was in his body. I was absorbing it like a sponge. And I didn't realize this for a while. It took me a long time to really sit with it and be like, why, why now? Why now am I so tired all the time after I spend time with him? Because his actual behavior hadn't changed. So it was like, why is this, what is affecting me here? And so this isn't about him cheating as much as it was about the, the environment that he was in all the time, what he was exposed to, what it did to his own energy and that he brought it home and I took it, I took it, I took it on every time. And I would be so tired, like as if I had run a marathon the day before after we spent time together. And there was no excuse for that. <laughs> like, there was no real reason for that. So yeah, that that's something. And then after we, we split up, that extreme level of exhaustion when with another person never happened again. So it was definitely that shift of what he was exposed to versus what he was bringing home. And like he wasn't grounding himself because he didn't believe in any of this. So he didn't ground himself. He didn't cleanse himself. And he would, he would basically ground and cleanse himself while he would come and sleep in the bed next to me. That's how it happened. He didn't know that's what he was doing, but that's what he was doing. So even something like that, like your partner being exposed to difficult circumstances of any kind it doesn't necessarily mean their job it could be something in their in their family um, around friends it could be something with their life that they're dealing with maybe they had some kind of trauma that happened and you very possibly will be absorbing that this is why it's so important to be mindful of who you're letting into your space have they done work on themselves are they carrying around a lot of stuff that is heavy and sad that's going to make you feel anxious? Or are they working on themselves? We're all a work in progress, so nobody's going to be perfect. But are they working on themselves? Are they self-aware? Are they trying to be careful about what they do and the choices that they have and how they treat people and how they treat you and all of that? So just think about that, okay? It's something that is very important because it also, when we'll get into sex magic, it extends into your manifestation work, your your energy releasing work, okay? I don't know when we're gonna talk about that one because I have family that watch these videos and I'm trying really hard to be very PG, as PG as I can be. Um, so, sorry mom, hope you're not watching this one. <laughs> I'll tell you not to. Hopefully you'll listen. And um, yeah, so if you've ever had an experience like this and it's validating something that you've gone through, feel free to share with the community below if you're comfortable. No shaming anybody else, no attacking anybody else. And if you do, if you're inappropriate, also no, be, no inappropriate. Like we're not trying to have sex talk with each other here about stuff. We're not doing that. This is more of an energetic education okay so if anything's like out of line i'm gonna delete it and i might even block you so just be aware you've been warned <laughs> okay and i hope that this was informative for you guys i will see you all in the next video stay tuned for the next astrology video which should be coming out this weekend and i might be going live soon so i'll let you all know bye for now mm -hmm.